What's up guys, it's Alex for Arctic Viking and today we are finally riding at three stages or three stage in Collingwood. So we've heard that this place is very easy to get lost at <laughs> because there is no trail signage or anything to really indicate what you're on. But hey, that's why we have trail forks. This is future Alex here. Just reminding you guys that throughout the month of August, we are raising money to help children cancer research. So if you'd like to donate to a good cause, there'll be a link in the description. All proceeds go to sick kids and will help children. So consider donating, links in the description. I also expect there's gonna be probably quite a bit of elevation gain today given that it's where it's located. We are up near Blue Mountain. But if there's a lot of climbing, there also should be a lot of descending today. So if there's a balance, then I'll take it. <laughs> it's a wee bit damp today. It's not a soaking wet, but there is a couple little mud puddles here and there. And things are gonna be a a little bit slippery. Oh, the brakes are squealing. <laughs> mud is just, it's not even mud, it's just hard. It's like loose dirt. <laughs> it just flies up on you. Probably getting it on my camera. I really regret stopping here because <laughs> should have kept my momentum going and I wouldn't and then I would have been able to just fly up this climb But oh well What can you do? Don't know if you can see that sign there. We're at the highest point on the Bruce Trail 540 meters Very very high up, but over here is a staple of the three stages trail system. It's the 540DH. It's a double black, but we don't know what makes it a double black. So we're going to go slowly down it with very loud brakes and not do anything stupid, I guess. I mean, there doesn't seem to be. I mean, there's roots, rocks, kind of just eerily. Okay, this is a bit more. Yeah, no, this is more technical. Really, that's a double black. Is that it? <laughs> well, I think that was one of the more technical little drop-ins. There's a couple lines there, I think. And I think it could have gone tougher than what I went. Okay, now I think we're done. So we are currently heading over to where the views are, right along the ridge of whatever hill we're on. Lots of roots and rocks here, I like it. I wish we um, came on a bit drier of a day, but we really didn't have any idea what the conditions were gonna be like here today. Looks like it's getting a bit tamer. We're getting to the end of the trail. Very, very technical. Definitely a lot of foot downs. Not trying to fall into any of these cliffs on the right here. But it looks like it would hurt, and I think we are very close. Yeah, we're done. We're on John McConnell's side trail. We are now, this time for real, we are heading back to the ridgeline area after our little side adventure. Can I fit through any of these gaps? Yes, I can.
that was more technical than the double block. <laughs> We're now doing the extension trail on the side. And this already looks pretty fun with its little twists and turns. Oh yeah, look at this, huh? Our first berm of the day. We are on Ridge Run, which I assume is on a ridge. Ah, handlebar. Yeah, no, there, there's no more um, grip or braking at this point in our ride. Which isn't great. It's not the most enjoyable. Oh, the back tire is just gone. I don't think we came on a great day. There's, <clears throat> there's just zero traction on anything. And we're starting to feel it. God, this is just so terrible. <laughs> Just so much mud. <laughs> oh my god, don't fall, please. I thought Kelso was bad with their puddles in the trail. Holy moly. Alright, well, three stages was decent. It was alright. Obviously, we knew coming into it, it's somewhere where people get lost. There's no signage or anything, which it could, which would be helpful if it had, but luckily with the help of trail forks, we didn't get lost at any point. That's it for today. Trail forks link, the three stage will be in the description. You will also uh, have the link to the great cycle challenge where you can donate as I said, all proceeds go to sick kids. That's really pretty on the right and left. That's cool. So if you would like to donate to that, I know the Canadian children suffering from cancer would definitely appreciate your donation. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed, leave a like. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think of three stage follow us on instagram at everyday biking and we'll see you guys next time see ya